tutorial. Hey guys, I'm Timothy from Cinema Content and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna go through how I make my thumbnails. Um, so I have recorded a bit of a time lapse of how I did the thumbnail for this exact video that you're watching right now. So I'm just gonna go through that and do some commenting explaining what I'm doing basically. Alright, so I usually just head to either Google or some wallpaper site. Since I'm doing fan edits, I will be going through some, you know, movie characters. Uh, uh, through this uh, thumbnail, I'm going through Thanos, because I thought that might be a cool idea for making a thumbnail tutorial. Uh, so I found a good one here. Um, started to download this, and what I do first is I import that to Lightroom. Just doing some, you know, minor changes, usually with the saturation, because in uh, Lightroom you can very easily uh, change saturation of separate individual colors and that makes it good for having you know a specific color scheme uh, throughout the whole uh, image or thumbnail so for this one I'm gonna go a lot with you know yellow and orange and those kind of colors uh, I'm not doing too many uh, you know changes here but I'm just making sure I'm making you know increasing the, the sharpness a little bit you know Doing the saturation how I want it I export that when I'm done you can skip this step if you don't have Lightroom but then I uh, import it into Photoshop and what you need to do here is you need to have the ratio to 16 to 9 so they actually uh, you know fit onto YouTube otherwise you will have weird black bars on the top or the bottom of your uh, of your thumbnails uh, so just make sure that it's 16 to 9 when you're doing a thumbnail in Photoshop uh, so now I'm just, you know, organizing the files a little bit. Um, I will be making a, a mask around Thanos. So I'm having an original layer, a new layer for future changes. And then I'm making one called Thanos, where I'm just doing a vector mask and then using a black and white brush to make sure that I remove the background. I also have a black and white uh, background layers, uh, so I can, you know, um, see the background behind uh, Thanos when I'm doing this, you know, the mask. And this is pretty much just to, you know, uh, making sure that I don't miss anything or, uh, you know, keep it as clean as possible. There's a lot of different ways of doing masks in Photoshop, but this is the uh, way that I find uh, best for having the perfect, uh, you know, accuracy. Uh, so, you know, I'm, you know, you see, I'm like flipping between black and white backgrounds and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, to compare and to see how the, the mask will look, basically. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with the mask so far. So I'm, I'm usually just creating a mask and then you can do a lot of different stuff with it later. So now I have a mask. I'm going to make my text. I'm just going to have it a thumbnail tutorial for this one. I'm going to my YouTube page just to compare it to my recent thumbnails to make sure that it won't be uh, too similar to my uh, most recent uh, thumbnail. Just to make sure that everything looks good in comparison. Uh, so I'm going through some different fonts. I'm usually download. I'm usually downloading my fonts from a website called thefont.com, um, and it's a really good site for having uh, cool fonts for thumbnails and stuff like that. I'm going in and adding some shadows by double clicking on the text layer. I'm moving it around a little bit, uh, just making sure that everything looks good. I added some black and white um, adjustment layers and I, I closed down uh, Photoshop because the brush is acting up. Like I can't see the brush tool uh, for some reason and I don't know if that's a glitch, but that happens sometimes. I'm adding a gradient to the text right now to make sure that it looks more uh, I guess vibrant and diverse with the different colors. I'm adding the uh, the watermark for my videos that I usually have. You don't have to have that on your thumbnails, but that's just what I like to have. I'm, uh, fixing some details with the mask, restarting Photoshop because the brush is acting up. Like I can't see uh, what I'm what I'm doing. Now I'm adding another layer uh, with just the. Um, with a uh, yellow color and I'm adding uh, I'm making a blend mode so it makes sure that it looks like the text is like reflecting uh, colors onto Thanos and then I'm adding a lens flare as well uh, changing the colors to make it look yellow to match in with the other other colors um, you know 
making sure that everything looks good. I'm experimenting a little bit more with the text to see if anything looks good because I'm not too sure yet on how I want the text to look. Um, so there we go. I separated the text to make the tutorial a little bit smaller. I'm making the gradient again. I'm adding some Gaussian blur to the text to make sure that it, uh, it looks a little bit more glowy. Um, that can be a cool effect as well if you want, uh, you know, to make your thumbnails really pop. You can, you can add some glow to the text to make sure it's cool. And you can do that by doing Gaussian blur on different layers, having one with a little bit less blur and one with a little bit more blur. It's very easy. Just search up how to make glow text in, uh, in Photoshop, I mean. I added some Gaussian blur to the background as well to make it, you know, to make Thanos stand out a little bit more. Placing the text behind Thanos a little bit so it gives it this 3D look. Um, basically, I'm adding some more lens flares. Uh, just uh, doing some curves to make sure that it blends in well. Placing the lens flare on the text to make it seem like it's shining and glowing even more. Messing around a little bit more with the shadows and the highlights. Making sure the highlights on Thanos is even better so it really looks like it's you know shining from from uh, Thanos and if you're wondering why I'm going to my uh, YouTube page and stuff like that it's because I want to compare different thumbnails and kind of get an inspiration of what I'm doing by just you know having a first impression from different thumbnails you know I'm, I'm tilting a little bit on the text to to make sure that the, the text looks a little bit more unique and a little bit more you know it looks a little bit more cool, I guess. Uh, and sometimes, if you've noticed, I usually zoom out a lot on my thumbnails from time to time. And it's just because you will see the thumbnail from very far away when you're on YouTube. And that's what I want to make sure, that the thumbnail is visible from very far away. It can look good if you zoom in, but there's no point in having a thumbnail if it looks bad when you zoom out. So you need to make sure of that. And now I added some Gaussian Blur onto the Thanos layer. I'm just making sure that the most grainy parts of him, since I added sharpness, uh, that it actually looks good. I'm adding some Gaussian Blur to the grainy parts, basically. Now I'm looking f uh, through different uh, particles, just adding some particles, uh, making them yellow, putting them, them into the background, giving the thumbnail a little bit more, you know, of a unique look or something, something different. Uh, just trying to make a lot of more, as much changes as possible, since if you're going uh, see if you see this image a lot you don't want it to look like all the other pictures of this so that's why I try to you know make it as different from the original as possible and now I think I am pretty much done with this actually yeah uh, so that was basically how I did my thumbnails um, there's a lot to go into with a lot of different effects and it's okay that you don't get everything. If you do know your way around Photoshop and are familiar with these effects, you will know what I'm doing. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little bit hard. So hopefully I will make more tutorials on stuff like that in the future. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you see something that you're not too sure about in this tutorial, you can always search up other tutorials uh, related to Lightroom or Photoshop and just you know seeing what I do you can pause pause a frame see uh, what kind of effects I'm using and try to search up um, stuff on that but usually what I work with a lot in Photoshop is blend modes uh, smart objects and vector masks and stuff like that uh, to really put several dimensions of uh, of stuff into into Photoshop and into your thumbnails. But that's pretty much it. So thank you everybody so much for watching and that's all I have for today. Peace out.